Hey guys, this is Star Tolyong, and in this video, you will see 10 different creative traps that you can set to bait your enemy out of position and get easy kills. Every single game, someone tend to disconnect and this is when we unleash Divine Punishment on our F9 key. During the pauses, most player will have time to look around the map and this is when you want to execute your DC bait. Even though I'm not actually DC here, it looks like I'm sending my grandmother to the airport while waiting for the actual DC player and most Dota nerds love to see free kills sitting around. Come to Papa. I'm the papa. Go, 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 <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> it worked, it worked. <laughs> if you're playing offlane or support Magnus, run out of base immediately with a ward. Plant the ops from the low ground leaning towards the river. Then wait for your free gift to arrive. If your enemy is chilling on the high ground without leaning towards the river, they cannot see you plant the ward. Since the rune fight happened very often during the first bounty rune, there is a 32.2% chance that the carry try to steal your safe rune and you get a free cliff. If you spot the carry fighting for the rune, you can camp here to cliff them on their way back to the lane. You are only given 1 TP scroll and each TP scroll will cost you 100 gold. Losing the initial TP can be very huge and the carry will be playing very scared in lane knowing that his TP is on cooldown. On the dire, hide in these trees and plant the ward from the low ground. Players from the high ground will not see you plant the ward and wait for your prey. On this season of Trusty Shovel, we have Bounty Runes, South, Mango, and a $7 Creep. It is pretty common for players to run out of slots, and the little bug will leave Mangoes and South lying everywhere. Knowing that many people leave their belongings on the ground, this is the perfect chance to lay down a trap. On 10 Things You Should Know Episode 10, I explained that you can see outside the pit from inside the pit where your opponents have no vision of you despite having wards. All you need to do is to stay inside the pit, take baby steps until you lose vision of the Roshan, and see outside the pit. Pit. Place a mango or a south outside the pit and wait for your prey. That's <laughs> on Oh, there's a mango here, guys. Oh, he got the mango. He, he took it. Uh. Yeah, he, yeah took he, it, took he took it. it. He took it. He took it. You can do this in lane as well, but I will highly recommend you lean towards the side of the map because it is harder for the enemy to get vision of those areas. <laughs> Alright, come get my mango, bro! <laughs> come and get my mango, bro! Look at the free mango! Oh my god! I got no vision! Yo, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming! <laughs> 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 Good business ah, transaction bro. Yeah.
Monkey with courier next to you allows you to turn into a courier. Now that you have your new part-time job, time to deliver some items. Go pass my item. A surprise! Roshan is a very important objective in a game and both teams usually aim to fight for it. Staying inside the pit for a long time can pressure your opponents to go for blind spell cast because they might think that the rush is low and this is when you show off your anticipation skills by leaving the pit at the correct time. They are coming to rush, they are coming to rush. Yeah, I'm gonna bait the rush, I'm gonna bait the rush. This part is gonna get... I'm gonna bait the rush, I'm gonna bait the rush. He came in, he cornered me, he cornered me. Oh. <laughs> Very classic way to battle at the Roche Pit, so let's bring it up to the next level. Leave one hero in the pit while having your other heroes camp the high ground on your opponent's side of the map. There is a very high chance that your enemy scans the pit and smoke out to contest Roshan, and this is where you collect the free kills. Using the same high ground ward, Tiny and Earthshaker can execute the Roshan trap. If Dire Safe Laner is returning to their lanes through the river, Tiny can toss into a feature trap. If the feature is placed near the entrance of the pit, the target can de-aggro by running to the edge of the pit, so it is important to block the pit away from the entrance. You can also use Clockworks Cock to trap your target. However, big brain players will use the cock to push themselves out of the pit. Therefore, Earthshaker is probably more reliable. When you have another lane to farm, or when you're looking to fall back out of danger, you TP out. Wrong. If you want your enemy to walk out of position to cancel your TP, you TP out. If you disrupt a target near a wall or a hill, you can solo trap the target. If not, you can always use illusions or summon heroes to do the job. Trapping your target for a full 11 seconds duration with this combo can force Hero Without Mobility to TP out at level 1, and that is usually pretty huge. If you have a stunner, you can definitely kill them. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> right click! He's not dying though, what's he doing? I'm losing! <laughs> is this work, you work, you work, you work. He used DP, that's <laughs> Ah, do not him, do not him. <laughs> trap, trap. Trap you. Oh, oh shit. It is pretty common to see lifestealer hiding inside big creeps and wait for their prey to arrive. If you're lucky, a support comes and farm it and you get a free kill. But if it is a very tanky offlaner, you kinda need your support to help you and the offlaner to be out of position. Hide inside the creeps and get your support to pull the cam like normal. Do they have MVs? No way. Once they think that the support messed up and commits on them, go for the kill. There are trees around the Roshan pit for you to spear. But the walls around the pit aren't hills, so you can't spear the target and the target will fly through it. However, the back of the pit can be speared for some reason and we can use this to bait our opponents into a disaster teamfight. When your opponent is scouting the pit or is trying to invade your jungle, spear them to the middle of the pit, raise the walls and watch them die. A huge shout out to all my chat members for supporting this channel. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. If you enjoyed my video, can do hit the like, subscribe.
Okay, let's up the stakes. Item 8. Yes. Bigger stakes. <laughs> let's up the stakes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 You know my goodness! Guys! I'm feeling weak. I don't have a glimmer. Buying new one. Let's up 